Hello, everyone, and greetings to all. Yes, thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 40s World channel, where we're going to sit and pour some hot tea or whatever it be with Lady D. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. But if you're a wine drinker, bring your wine bottle. If you're a coffee drinker, bring the coffee. But if you're solely a tea drinker or whatever's in that cup of tea, it's all right with me. Let's come on. Let's sit down and talk. We got some tea to dish out. Ooh, my daughter told me about it because it came as a shock to me because I thought the brother was still serving time, which he is, but it's now at a low security type of prison he's in. We're talking about none other than the reality celebrity star looking all fine, fine, as fine as can be as wine. Just he, Like he aged like wine. Woo, we ain't gonna forget about he did some dirt, but hey, who can judge, right? Who can judge another individual, especially after they paid their time? Guys, I'm talking about Apollo, not Apollo Creed from the movie Rocky. Okay, I'm talking about Apollo Nada. Yes, that fine looking brother right there. Woo, let's just take a moment and just look at the clips, okay? I'm having a moment over here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And if you still don't know who I'm talking about, the one was married to Faith for Paul. You know what I'm saying? The one who divorced him after he had committed all this crime that she said she didn't know nothing about. The one he had the two babies by who allegedly say the last baby wasn't his. It was uh, a preacher. Uh, I think it's Giselle on Housewives of Potomac. I think her ex husband I forget his name. It doesn't matter anyway. And you remember the Apollo, in case you still don't remember him, the one that lied on Portia in Kenya, you know, stirred up all the trouble. And the gentlemen's had to get him to, uh, had to correct him for his actions, playing foul. You know, the one that broke up Candy's uh, connection to Phaedra because she lied, had Portia to help her out. With the lie saying they were trying to drug her, put her in the dungeon, and the sex dungeon that they had going on, which caused everybody to break up. The whole cast to just come down in shambles, in a sense, because of Phaedra lies. Now, Candy, talking about if Phaedra come back to the show, she gonna leave. I'm like, is you crazy? Phaedra got a storyline. She done broke up with that producer or personality, radio personality, Capone is what they call him, but they were so in love, and he was the, uh, she was the one praying to the Lord for him, now he gone, now she got to deal with all the drama, and the side effects of her ex-husband, Apollo, getting out, not to mention, he's still tied up with his boo, his fiance, I think her name is Sharon, something like that, she's Sherilyn, something, you know, she's a pretty little woman running around there, and I think she has a daughter, but I'm not really sure. But I got this clip, so I'm going with it, okay? Don't fact check me, because all my stuff is from hearsay, okay? Hearsay. And somewhat reputable, because I do use uh, different magazines and blogs that are reputable. But yeah, that's what Apollo telling tell us. He's going to see us soon. Yes, he ain't out of jail quite yet, because he should have got out uh in 2020 august i believe but they said he served a lesser sentence got out in 80 something months and he's been a good person up there well gosh what you gonna do in jail you can't help but be good <laughs> and he did white collar crimes he didn't do no blue collar crimes okay or no third type of crime he did a white collar crime so three strikes you're out apollo so you know had two let's not make it three let's come home and be uh, father to those uh, two precious boys you have because they definitely need you in their life because Phaedra ain't doing a good job in that area right now. Okay, and then she's trying to get back on the ratchet show or Real Housewives of Atlanta to stir up more trouble. But I guess she need quick, fast, and a hurry money because the mortuary places ain't going good for her. And, you know, Peter Thomas, you know, he's finagling people out here. You just need another partner to like sit straight. But I don't know if you two need to be getting together. I think you need the whole crew. I need, I'm glad Greg has survived his council experience. Todd is a good fellow. Daddy, daddy daycare over there with Ace and doing his thing. So, yeah, we don't want you to hang with Peter too tough. Because Peter, like, he be in some little stuff too. But he ain't never been, you know, 
forced to serve no long prison time or no long jail time. So he might got something going on. I'm not sure. But if we get into what page six is writing about uh, that magazine, they had a title for their um, title for expressing their opinions or giving us their commentary on Apollo's release. It reads, um, Phaedra Park's ex-husband, Apollo Nada, gets prison sentence reduced by Derek Bryson Taylor, who works for Page Six Journalism, uh, journal company, uh, advertising company, however you want to put it. Okay, Getty Images gave them a cute little picture when Phaedra and Apollo were happier in happier times. But it goes on to say, Apollo Nada is coming home earlier than expected. Woo! I know, because I sure wasn't expecting. Now, I was looking around for the summer of 2020. That's what I was looking around, but hey. Woo! The Lord answer prayers, don't it? The Lord answer prayers. Okay, but uh, it goes on to say, that's my commentary, not in um, Mr. Bryanson or Branson's uh, commentary. Let me read it again. He said, Apollo not is coming home earlier than expected. The ex-husband of former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Phaedra Parch has had his prison sentence reduced by a full 12 months, according to the Blast. Okay, Blast is another... Um, what do you call it? Advertising, uh, journalistic type of um, company, uh, vlog company, magazine, whatnot. The defendant's sentence is hereby reduced to 84 months of imprisonment with credit to be given by the Bureau of Prisons for all time served. Read court documents. All other terms of the sentence imposed by this court on July 8, 2014 shall remain unaffected by this order. Instead of serving 96 months for various fraud charges, Nada 40 will now serve 84, making his scheduled release date sometime in August 2020. In 2014, after pleading guilty to federal fraud charges that include conspiring to commit mail, wire, and bank fraud, the reality star was sentenced to eight years in prison. In addition, he was ordered to pay restitution to the victims of his crimes, totaling $2.3 million. Upon his release next year, Nada will find himself in a different world. His divorce to 45-year-old Parks, with whom he shares two sons, was finalized in July 2017 after several failed attempts to get it signed off by a judge. She has since moved on and is dating Chicago radio DJ Tone Capone. Uh, Nada has also found love from the inside, meaning jail, in 2016, Nada got engaged to a real estate investor named Shireen Amofiti. We're just going to call her Shireen A. Okay. All right. Um, And that's pretty much of the whole story. Then I know I read a little bit on Media Takeout. You know, that's not a really, really reputable uh, blog to be following. But it's kind of like the Inquirer magazine. They have been sued so many times, you know, they have to get some of these stories correct. At least give us half truths and, and, and some real stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little lie mixed in with a lot of truth. So that's what they're looking towards to doing. And um, they're pretty much getting back to the scene of being an, a credible source. Uh, because they stated that they were also uh, supposed to be filming with the Real Housewives of Atlanta Bravo TV franchise of his upcoming transition from the real prison he was serving in Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky, to him going to a low security uh, prison where I guess he can have guests and he can go out for a little while and he can come back. You know, those kind of privileges. And, um, Bravo or Real Housewives of Atlanta supposed to be filming that along with having Phaedra Parks come back and play a little bit, you know. I'm sure it's going to be centered around him being released from jail and how she feels about it and how she's going to try to pimp her kids out with the idea of having to have to take them to see him in New Jersey because uh, she sure didn't want to go to uh, Kentucky and see him. So that's going to be uh, the storyline. That's going to be boss right there. Everybody going to be tuning in just to see what's going on with them. That's going to be all the storyline. So whatever Candy doing in the dungeon, she might have to come back and play her part with the dutiful housewife where they go and try to support mentally, physically, 
and spiritually, I guess, uh, with a, you know, go see Apollo while he's in his low security type jail, you know. And then um, you got the storyline with uh, Phaedra once was dating this Capone guy, radio personality, and now they don't broke up. I'm like, do I smell a rat in this scenario? Do I smell a rat? Was Bravo keeping up with Apollo? And probably writing letters in to free him sooner than what he was supposed to get out of. I mean, because he's at a low security uh, prison. And we almost finished this year, giving six more months. And then we're going to have to put a little, what, six, you know, July, uh, eight more months onto that. And then he'll be free. So, but it's just a coincidence. How season 12 is creeping in on us. And we got a powerful storyline. Between an ex. His children. Breakups. And then we don't know if he's still going to get married to this Shireen. Because technically they could have got married while he was in jail those five years. What are you waiting on? They going to get married and then have a celebration when he finally come out in August 2020. But who knows? They may get him out of there before that time. You know what I'm saying? Time served for that. <laughs> Woo! I tell you, it's, it, it's going to be something. I know we ain't going to be hearing about Greg. There ain't going to be no storyline no more because it done been plastered all over social media. God's got him. He done turned his uh, illness around for the better. So he's going to have time to tape and probably be around his fellas again. Probably don't want to be around too much with Peter here and there, but that's okay. You know, he got taught, and, you know, Greg is a little settled man. He kind of like doing things by himself if he ain't following Nene around and Nene bossing him and stuff of that nature. But I really love OG Greg. He just speak when he needs to speak. Other than that, he just let, let, let people live. Just let them live. They got to learn. They got to learn. They got to learn today anyway. But, uh, yeah. And Peter needs somebody to hang with. Cause he's just getting too wild out there. He's dating younger women. It's just like, what are you going to be? Going to be like R. Kelly? Okay, going to be like R. Kelly? The younger, the better? I don't know. But people be up. Peter needs help. He needs some company. So, and Todd probably could teach him about being in the father realm again with his two kids, adjusting back to them. Because Aiden might be a little standoffish, but, you know, that was his first boy. So, you got to have some love for him. And that doggone Dylan, I don't know, him, Miss President, <laughs> as Paige you like to call him. Ooh, he looked like a little rough one right there, a rough one. He allegedly supposed to be Apollo's son. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. But, you know, it just is what it is. That's my opinion, my observation. Like I said, I just don't see it. I really don't. And then it could be a, another twist in the story. Will Phaedra get back with Apollo? Will she go and try to break up the union between uh, Sharon and, and Apollo? Since technically they're not married. So he's kind of still fair game. And will Apollo forgive Phaedra for pretty much turning him on to the wolves and, and getting feds involved and taking stuff here and there. He already told her, I want my money, I want my bank account, I want my house or apartment, whatever. I need to be set up. Whenever I get out of jail, them are going to be the spe spe uh, specifications for me going to jail, even though we know you probably need to be going to jail instead of me. But I'm going to take the rap. I'm going to take the rap. I'm going to be the bigger person. But he told him before he left and went to jail. He want all his stuff back prior to him getting arrested and going to jail. So if Phaedra, you know, don't want no other dirt to come out on her and her probably going to jail next time, she better do what he say. Okay? Because he was wise. He was wise. He's probably made the deal with her. Say, look, I go to jail. I take the heat. You raise my children. But when I get back, I'm on my money. If you ain't got my money and my specifications down to the letter of how I wrote them out for you. I'm going to be talking to the AJC, uh, New York Times, any big media outlet out there. I even go to the blogs. I would tell my story, write a book, and put it all on paper. And then you'll be looking for somebody to represent you. Because on the word on the street, 
you ain't been doing too much litigation lately and or burying people. So what's going on? You've been calling and nagging Bravo to get that time back. Okay. <laughs> but that's going to be something between her and uh, what is it? Her and Candy Bird. Because Candy Bird says she ain't going to she ain't gonna do it. She will not be on the same TV sharing a, a, a spotlight with Phaedra Paul. And I'm like, Candy, that's such a dry issue now. That's so much water under the bridge. You know what I'm saying? Let sleeping dogs lie. You know, make your money. Do what you got to do. Fan with this person. And you really got to fan with her. You just fan with Apollo. Okay? And talk dirt on her. Uh, uh, talk junk with him about her. Who knows? But just don't let the kids be involved. Kids don't need to hear anything. But y'all may be thinking about an adult. Okay? Who especially is the parent of those children. All right? But, honey, you'll be silly to leave your bread and butter. And I don't care what nobody say. Well, Candy got all this going on. Candy got all that going on. Well, she wouldn't have that going on if she didn't have this platform to market herself on. You see where I'm going with it, baby? Do you see where I'm going with it? Don't forget it. She's smart. And she got a smart team working with her. Keep your behind on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay? Because you might get an even bigger paycheck. All right? Up there with any leaks. Because it's going to, ooh, some fish is going to fry. Some fish is going to fry, y'all, this season 12. So I can't wait. But I just had to come in just a little short while I tell y'all about who done got out of jail or the high security jail. Because he's still in jail till next year. Unless somebody pulls some strings and he be out before Christmas of this year. And, I, you know, I ain't mad at it. Come like he served his time, uh, you know, uh, quite a bit of it anyway. For an eight-year sentence getting out in five, that, that's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Because he did a white-collar crime. You know, he was thinking with his head. Not the bottom one, but the top one. So, I'm sure he got money, but it has to be funneled through other sources. But he going to be taken care of or some ish will be going down, Okay. And he wouldn't care who keeping his children because he ain't going to be in that cell on the lockdown without paying your pause, being on the same lockdown cell when her orange uh, jumpsuit. <laughs> if you catch my drill. If you catch my drill. But I want to thank y'all for coming to the channel. Yes, having tea time, pouring the tea as I can with Lady D. And I appreciate y'all. And hopefully, I'll see you something soon. For something else. Maybe it'll be Apollo. Maybe he'll be cutting up in jail or something. I don't know. But I can't wait till he hit them streets. So they start filming with him. That what me your takeout said. They have some uh some sources saying they're gonna be filming and um with Apollo and his low security type digs he's living in now. So ooh, some stuff gonna come up. He might be dropping a little tea here on Phaedra and, and what got him to be in prison. You just never know because he had five years to serve. And then Phaedra didn't even come with him to turn himself in. He said he's still feeling salty about that. He's feeling some kind of way for the negative that she did not even give him that much respect to, to turn himself in as a united front. Husband and wife going to jail. <laughs> Oh, woo, yes, he is going to be dishing on her, and it ain't going to be nothing pleasant. Nothing pleasant at all. So, if I was Miss Cherie, hopefully you got your money up front to pay the, play the part that you're going to, you know, be his love interest or his new wife to be. As long as you got your duckets in order and you getting paid for this storyline, because I don't, I really don't believe that y'all were trying to get married. Because if that's the case, y'all would have got married, Okay. Just being in jail don't stop you from getting married. There's a lot of people that can come in and probably had their own priest or uh, pastor in there that could have did do for you. But that's yeah, what it is. It's reality TV. They give us what we want. We like drama here and there mixed up with a little craziness, you know, to get us from our uh, stressors that we have. We got to look at somebody else stress out. You know what I'm saying? Not saying it's fair. Not saying it's right. But this is the way of the world. Okay. We'll just pray for everybody in this scenario. Because I tell you, they're going to need it. They're going to need it. But it's going to probably be a high-ranking time for Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 12. Because it's going to be hot. You got Portia out there doing what she's doing with Dennis. All this 
uh, mess going on with her her soon to be husband, you know, but I don't too much like Dennis anyway. I ain't gonna lie. They don't look like they supposed to be together anyway. They just don't look right together. That's just my opinion, you know. She's still gonna do what she got to do. I'm gonna still feel the way I wanna feel about it. And that's all we got. Okay. But thank you for coming by, stopping in, letting me dish my tea to you. Accept it however you want to. No comment uh will be disturbed, you know. Speak your mind, okay? Speak your mind like I speak mine. Just be respectful. But if you can't be respectful, thank you for viewing. <laughs> thank you for clicking on the video and viewing it, okay? But peace and blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon for something else. Good night.